Okay, so it looks like we reuse these bits, I think. And what they do is they sandwich the piece of rubber. Um, and as you tighten it up, it squashes and it's got to go out, out um, to the, you know, basically it seals against the outside and the inside as it's squashed. So I don't, I haven't fully opened this up. Ah, uh, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe it's these plates here. Because I said these were obsolete. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get this all apart and then we'll have a, have a, another look. Okay, we're just pulling these out with these Nipex pliers. So yeah, it just basically um, sandwiches the uh, little rubber di uh, thingy in the hole. And as it's squashed, it seals around the outside and the inside. That's basically the gist of that, which is surprisingly basic, really. Um, I think we might clean some of this rust off of here quickly with the whizzy wheel. Um, and then we're going to take all the bits out of here and try assembling them and see if we can come up with something that makes sense. So we've got two of these plates, so... Oh, no. Maybe, oh, that's going to go on there like that. Maybe, maybe them rubber bits go into them recesses there. And that is bolted flat to this. And then these plastic bits go on the inside. I think that might be how that goes together. Because these rubber bits look longer than them rubber bits. So we'll, we'll put it all together and assemble it, and so long as there's a bit of squish I think that's how that goes. It would make sense because you, would, you, you wouldn't think you'd have a rebuild kit where you had to reuse some of your old stuff, would you? Anyway, I'll get all the rust off of there. Okay, we're cleaning these holes out. I'm dragging a bit of paper towel through there, soaked in brake cleaner. Up, up and down, back and forth. We do, the, do all of them same way. Uh, I might go and have, well I will, I'll clean these bolt holes out because they've got rust in them. Okay, that's all cleaned up. They, they look, they look too bad. I think there's just a bit of marking in there. They sound like he's had some uh, staining sort of thing, water marks. It's obviously, it's obviously a condensation in there because the things don't run for 11 months of the year over the winter and everything but I think we've got them them holes look um, they look clean so right let's have a go assembling this lot see how it looks right so that's all those in there I put a tiny bit of oil on them because these were really tight these ones slid in a bit better but I thought they've got to be they've got to move to squash and I'd rather they squashed up nicely rather than hung up on the side because um, this is all just plastic I don't want it snapping um, as we're doing it up um, so I think we'll put the we need to get the bottom plates on uh, oh, but yeah they're square so that should in theory stop these turning a bit but you know you wouldn't want to reef on them so that's got a square hole for that to go in um, so we get all these poked up because these actually these go up inside the tubes and then this has got a recess for that, that rubber to protrude slightly uh, and then we can just go around we'll have to just tie them all in sequence um, carefully well, I've got some torque specs somewhere I've got to look up okay um, that's all done uh, I did I need to get them out flush um, Go, do we go in a bit? I think so. There's not much of a recess in there, only about a millimeter or two, one and a half mil, something like that. So, we don't want too much sticking out the top because if we're not careful, we're going to get our bulge in the rubber outside of the plate. We want the bulge to be in the center, it can't be below because that, that 
bit goes up inside the chair, the hollow bit. But we want, so this plate, to my mind, I'm working without any instructions here, you just get the bits, they don't give you anything. How to with it, and um, that needs to go on there and be tight to this, so that as we tighten this up, we're not making a bulge outside, if you know what I mean, between the plate and this. This needs to be flush to that. Um, yeah. Right, that's all torqued up. So this kind of squashes the rubber sort of flat like an O-ring, so it must seal all through the ball, hopefully, and then against the face. So anyway, that's how it seems to go together. There's no way you're going to lose all that rubber in, in the actual thickness of the metal. So I think that's how it has to go together. Time will tell. So we've got to go and clean the um, face up on the uh, compressor and then uh, get it all bolted back together. Okay, I've got that cleaned up. Um, need to clean the threads out. And I need to get the inside of this a wipe out, get any dirt out of the inside of it. And then uh, we've got the fun of putting the wires back on in the right place. And then we've got to change the oil in it, we've got to change the oil. Because it's on, we're putting it on 4A7C, it was on 22 before, we're going to put it on 4A7C, so we need to put some synthetic oil in it. Okay, just got to try and figure out how this all goes back together. Um, got my gasket on there, I've got the bolts in there to stop the gasket falling off. Um, got six of these, so I think these might go on here. These bigger ones go the other side. Then we've got four, which would do them. And then we've got three, so I'll be the lost one. But then there was only three in the... Um, we've only also got three of these washers, so I don't know. I'll have to look back at my previous video and see what I did.
Um, Thank you. 